mold and air quality issues are hampering the operations of the Labour Department and causing the government a hefty sum. Labour Minister Dr. Virginia Albert Poyot continues to recognize the need for the Labour Department to be restructured. She highlighted that need again at the 2024 International Labour Day Rally in Serenity Park, San Susi on Wednesday, May 1, 2024. In the Department of Labor, we have the Occupational Safety and Health Unit. This unit has to be strengthened. As the Labor Commissioner indicated, we were able to get one additional equipment for them to do air quality tests. And you know the challenges we have had in the workplace with mold and air quality. And this is costing the government a hefty sum each time we have to go into an area to do air quality tests and then to treat mold. Therefore, if we strengthen that department, we will see an improvement in ensuring that the workers have a decent environment in which to work. Poyet also said that the employment unit needed to be expanded to make the recruitment process easier for job hunters and employers. To a large extent, the employment unit was focusing a lot on the farm workers, the Canadian farm workers and those in the other countries that we try to send persons to work. But we need to strengthen that unit so that unit becomes the hub of employment for local persons here. When somebody is seeking employment, they are looking for work. They can go to the employment unit in the Department of Labor to know where they have jobs available or they can register their names and give their credentials so they can get a call when there is a job available. The employer can inform the Department of Labor that they will need so many workers in this area and the department can assist in recruiting workers for different employers in St. Lucia. Additionally, the Labour Tribunal and recently established Minimum Wage Commission are to occupy the same workspace to get the ball rolling on the implementation of a livable minimum wage. And the Labour Tribunal is supposed to ensure that disputes between employers and employees are resolved. And as I speak, we are securing a separate space for the labor tribunal to operate because they need a space for them to have the hearings and different cases brought to their attention and that has been one of the challenges and the prime minister has given commitment that they will get that space for them to operate and we also want them to share that space with the minimum wage commission this is a new entity and as you have heard the issue of minimum wage and pronouncements made by the Prime Minister that this is a hot topic in St. Lucia. And therefore, the Commission needs the support for us to get this new legislation in place and to ensure that we have effective implementation of the minimum wage when it do come around. Moreover, the work permit departments and employment units will work closely together to monitor the labor force so as to give residents a fair shot at employment. International Labor Day recognizes the contributions of workers and promotes their rights and struggle for better working conditions. The theme for this year's celebration is social justice and decent work for all. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.